Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Sorry about that. I was just testing my fuel. I want to make sure it doesn't have any antioxidants or high fructose corn syrup. I do have something I want to talk about today. I want to talk to you about engine failure. So your instructor probably taught you a lot about engine failures. You can have engine failures over open water. You can have engine failures in the air. You probably practiced emergency procedures with engine failures in the pattern after takeoff, but there's one engine failure that no one's teaching you. That's engine failure on the ground. It's one of the more embarrassing engine failures you can have, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about how to deal with that. Stick around for the outtakes. Just recently asked me, Brian, what would I do if I had an engine failure in my aircraft while I was on the ground? Now, when I say student, I have an unconventional stick figure drawing class at the mesothelioma clinic next door to the asbestos factory in Oklahoma City. So this is just like any other emergency, and when you're training for an emergency, you have to have two things. You have to have a plan, and you have to have an acronym so you can remember the plan. So today, what I want you to remember, A, B, C, D. A, act confident. B, best excuse. D, convince them it was intentional. And D, depart the area. You want to get out. This is easily one of the most embarrassing emergencies you can have, and you're going to want to get out of the area as fast as you can. So I'm going to go down here in taxi, and we're going to do a simulated engine out on the taxiway, and I'm going to show you how you do it. It's a little more complicated at this uncontrolled field. At a controlled airport, it's much simpler, and I'm going to show you why. So we're on the ground, everything's running fine. Oh no, I've lost my engine. There's really only three reasons your engine's gonna quit when you're on the ground. Number one, you landed your Cirrus and you forgot to turn the fuel pump on and that killed your engine. Am I right? Happens every time. Number two, you ran out of fuel. That's embarrassing. Number three, maybe you were practicing simulated gear up emergencies and you accidentally pulled the mixture instead of raising your gear while you were on the ramp. I've lost my engine, I'm confident I did this intentionally. B, I'm gonna come up with my best excuse and I'm gonna convince them it was intentional. So you see someone out there, they're concerned that your engine has died? Don't mind me, I'm okay. I just, uh, I'm uh, exercising the exhauster coupling and I needed to shut the engine so I could listen for pinging in my Schrader valve. It's a thing, if you read your POH, you'd know all about it. I gave them a reason why the engine was dead. They're no longer concerned. They think I'm an awesome pilot and they're gonna go read their POH. They're gonna be a safer pilot because of it. Maybe your aircraft doesn't have a Schrader valve. Use an excuse that makes sense to something on your aircraft. Now, I just had to kill it so I could maximize the carb sensor induction gyro. If your CFI didn't suck, you'd know what that means and you'd be doing it too. All the pilots on the internet are doing it, it's a thing. Maybe you don't need a complicated excuse. Any excuse will do. No problems here, I just like to run lean of peak. Way, way, way lean of peak. Another technique is the distraction technique. Maybe you shut down your engine because you were distracted by something. Is that Air Force One? I think that's Air Force One. Hey, is that Air Force Two? I think that's Air Force Two. Hey, is that Air Wolf? I think that's Air Wolf. Hey, is that Air Bud? I think that's Air Bud, the basketball playing dog. No, sorry, shut it down. Did you call my name? I thought I heard my name. I thought someone called me. You didn't call my name? I thought you called my name. <laughs> my mistake. Well, I'm going to start my engine and go fly now. All right, now you guys know how to recover. If your engine dies and you're on the ground, tune in next week and I'm gonna teach you how to do a stall recovery at the fuel pumps. Engine out on the ground is the single most embarrassing emergency a pilot can have. That or wetting your pants because you didn't bring a Gatorade bottle. Now, of course, when I say student, I teach an unconventional stick figure drawing class at the mesothelioma clinic in the asbestos Why? Why can't I just fly planes and film it like all the other guys? All right, so I'm taxiing along. Everything is completely normal. There's no problems, no abnormalities, no anomalies, no other words I can think of to describe a situation that's not great. All right, so now you guys know how to mitigate engine out on the ground, on the ramp, on the taxiway, by the fuel pumps. By the fuel pumps is great, because then you can just put fuel in and people will think you're fueling, you're fueling, you're paying it. People will think you're fueling, you're paying it. Man, that's what they're thinking. All right, everyone, thanks for coming to my channel and watching another goofy video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Uh, share videos with friends that you think uh, might be interested in aviation, might be interested in uh, the silly side of aviation. So uh, thanks again for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, share. Fly safe, guys. Fly smart.